Hey, welcome back to another video, folks. Thanks for tuning in again. Pleasure to have you along. I've had an exciting morning. It's like almost the highlight of my week is going shopping these days. Just um, how the world has changed. Eh? Buying milk is now something to look forward to, isn't it? Uh, today's video, Winging It Wednesday. I haven't used that one before. This is a little improvisation. I quite like this one, right? Uh, I've got two ropes set up here, joined with knots, so it's an abseil basically. Uh, I'll put a little link up, I think it goes like there somewhere, to a previous video of how to set up a releasable abseil, if that's something you want to look at. But in this one, it's an improvisation for if you've dropped your belay plate or forgotten it, whatever. Now, the first thing I think of, right, is getting a big HMS and putting a uh, Italian hitch on it. All right, that works, right? Just do that quickly. Just do it in both ropes, so it's one big Italian. You put a prussic on, not really going to go into that for now, but prussic on. And that works, it's done. It's used one carabiner, it's nice and safe, it's all good. Downside of it, though? twist the rope so much especially when there's like two of them together just makes a proper bird's nest so if i was going like one pitch maybe i'd chuck an italian on and, and deal with it because then we're bailing or something like that you know we're down at the floor good to go if there's anything more than that or a, just a, a long abseil or something then i don't really want to make such a mess of the ropes it honestly it's a right pain so what i'm going to do is show you a little uh, carabiner breaking method and there's a few of these right so hopefully this will prompt you to go and look at some more I'll just show you one and it works really well and I'll, I'll explain why I like it now as usual I'd clip my lanyard into something to make sure I'm super safe but again just to keep it clear I'm just gonna clip it out of the way now this one uses three carabiners three locking carabiners you could get away with only uh, having two and I'll explain that in a moment but I'm gonna put one on my uh, normal extended loop again that's in the video I linked before and I'm going to do that up okay next up I'm going to get another carabiner and put that in there and I'm going to do that one up as well okay so I've made a little chain of two so far and I'm going to get my two ropes and put them together up so you're against gravity up into that carabiner so you've got a loop like that and then you're going to get your third carabiner clip them into there and clip them in up there as well. So you've ended up with a loop like that. Make sure you do them all up, as always. And then what you can do, poof your rope up, 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 up and away. And what you've ended up with is a carabiner break. There we go, that works. Let's just slide them up a bit higher. Go up a sling mount in a step or two. And there we go, we have sail away. There's not as much friction as on your normal ATC, but you can still hold it with a hand like properly easily. So it's a definitely a valid way of doing it. And to abseil, away you go. Now look where the rope is rubbing on this one. That's why this carabiner is quite important because otherwise that rope would be rubbing on the sling. If you've only got two lockers with you, you could back to back a couple of snappers, but if you're really running low, then perhaps you could lose this carabiner entirely, just have those two on your sling, but you just have to work quite hard. Well, not hard, but you know, you just have to make a conscious effort to keep that rope away from your sling or your belay loop if you're doing that way because you don't like sort of rope on rope kind of stuff, do we? So there we go, that's good. What else do you need on it though? Don't forget to put that prussic on, all right? Really important. And it might as well add a little bit of friction on this, which would probably be appreciated. As always, French prussic on my Simmond sewn prussics, 60 centimetres. I'm saying it because I always get asked about them. Uh, and I always say I don't think they're in stock at the moment, so a Beal Jammy is another alternative. Now, I haven't got a screw gate here. Oh, I have off my lanyard, haven't I? So I'd have to do this a bit carefully, uh, swapping around and stuff while still staying safe. So I might have to put a snap gate on it temporarily and then swap it onto a screw gate. Uh, I might as well because I've got this thing, just kind of clip it out of the way somewhere to save it getting sucked into that and, and uh, you know, getting snagged because these things happen otherwise, don't they? And there we go. All right, so that, that would hold as always. And then to go, off I go, abseiling on my merry way to victory with a twist-free rope. So there you go. Little carabiner brake set up. I like it. Works quite well, doesn't it? So there you go, Winging It Wednesday. Maybe I'll do some more Winging It Wednesdays. I kind of like the idea of improvising these little things and I haven't shown this on any of the other videos, so there you go. 
three carabiners, replaced one belay plate, more of the story, don't drop your belay plate. As always, find us on Insta, find us on Facebook, give us a like and a follow there. I always say it, I know, but it's massively appreciated. So thanks very much if you have done it. Thanks if you're about to do it. Click that like button, smash the subscribe button. I'm so grateful, honestly, properly humbled by all the support. So thank you again. Hope you enjoyed the video. More videos coming up very soon. Mm -hmm.